up guys welcome back to the channel you're here with me Tuppy Dockers and uh, yeah before we start uh, if you're new to the channel make sure you give us a subscribe if you like what you see give us a thumbs up uh, use that comment section just let me know what you think about the deck anything you change that sort of thing and uh, hit that bell so you know when I'm uploading so today we are going with slightly anti-meta Sandaconda V now I love Picarom and this is a deck I would hate to see. Um, Sandaconda V does, has 220 HP. Uh, it's basic, so we're slapping down a big 220 wall here. And for a single fighting energy, Sandy, uh, 30 damage, attach a fighting energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon, which is really nice in the early game. It's good to get some early damage out. Quite nice. But Sand Breath for two fighting energy, one colorless, 220 damage. Discard two energy from this Pokemon. Sounds slightly expensive, but we have energy acceleration in this deck thanks to Colossal, uh, which has the ability. Oh, sorry, it's 160 HP stage two. Uh, once during your turn, you may attach a fire and a fighting energy. Um, from a discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you want. Uh, also has the move uh, Flaming Avalanche, which is fighting and three colorless energies. If we were playing triple, it would be okay, but we're not, so that's slightly too expensive for our tastes. Also, an attacker in here is Ninetales V. Uh, Ninetales Shapeshifter, 200 HP, basic. Uh, for a fire, which we've got in the deck because of Tar, uh, generator or whatever we'll have a look again in a second uh, nine tower shapeshifter fire double colorless choose one of your opponent's active pokemon's attacks and use it to attack can come in quite nicely especially for the adp match <coughs> because this will just one shot uh zation without a problem and then we have flamethrower for a single fire energy and then three colorless energies uh, Flamethrower is 180 damage discard energy from this Pokemon. But we don't mind discarding because this guy is going to keep bringing it back. So we've got five attacks in the deck because we are using fighting uh, a fighting deck. Fiancy uh, Prism Star, nice just to sit on your bench, keep it nice and warm. Uh, has Princess's Cheers. As long as this Pokemon is on your bench, your fighting Pokemon's attacks do 24 damage. So again, with picking it up taking this up to 240 damage uh, more damage buffers we're playing martial arts dojo the attacks of non ultra beast pokemon that have any basic fighting energy so that also is the nine tails um, <coughs> do 10 more damage to your active your opponent's active pokemon but if the attacking player has more prizes than we do it does 40 instead so if we're coming from behind with the deancy in play and the dojo that takes us to, uh, that's 250, 290 attack, which is quite nice. So, rest of the deck, we're playing a lot of, uh, quite a lot of energy search, playing the energy spinner, uh, search deck for a basic energy turn, reveal it, uh, basic energy card, reveal it. But if you're going second and this is your first turn, go get three basic energy cards instead. Uh, two Evolution Incense, just to go and grab us our Colossal. Uh, two Ordinary Rod, it's just there, because sometimes if we're having to throw too much away, we'll just bring Pokemon back, because like I said, we're going in with five attacks in this deck. Uh, for Quick Ball, we're trying to get some energies in discard pile, that works quite nice. Playing three Rare Candy, so if we do prize one, we're cool. Three switch, two dojo, two Viridian Forest, be able to chuck away an energy, go get another energy. It's good for thinning and it's good for getting the energy where we want it. Uh, two bosses orders as always. Three Cynthia, four Marnie and a little bit of a meme, but we're playing four Milo. Uh, Milo, if you discard, discard up to two cards from your hand or two cards for each card you draw that uh, discard that way so you discard you can discard your two energies that you need and get four cards for it it's quite nice um i don't know if it's a mainstay in the deck but you know it's nice to have it's good to draw from the top and throw away stuff we don't want playing one rosa just as a kind of swing around card if we get to it <coughs> you know once we get it in our hand keep it there 
I am playing two Skylar to be able to get our bits and pieces that we need because the problem that a lot of people find with stage uh, stage two decks is having both the stage two and having the rare candy in your hand at the same time. So this is just a way of being able to either go get the rare candy or go get us a revolution incense. So we will have one or the other. Also playing Karate Belt in this list, uh, if you have more prize cards, so if we're behind, the attacks of this Pokemon uh, cost one fighting energy less, which then means we're doing this for one fighting one colorless, which is quite nice. Still got to discard two cards though, so you put yourself with no energy on it. But as a quick turnaround go, if you don't, if you have to put a Sandaconda up and you don't have any energy in hand and you've got your Colossal, if you got a karate belt attached to it there's a lot of ifs there but you know it's kind of how the deck will set up anyway you know you know you can go and attack just for your colossal attachment and then to round out list six fight and six fire it's a nice simple uh we want to see lots of pika we want to see some metal decks so we can use our nine tails just to really go into them but other than that yeah it's quite a nice deck i quite like it um and yes, I'll see you for the first match. Okay, guys, here we go against um, R85. <laughs> I am not going to... R Poodle? I don't know. Uh, we'll go ahead. Yes, it is. Uh, we'll go second because we can attach and then attack and attach at the same time. Beautiful hand to go second with. We've got our energy spinner. I'm not going to play too much down. I don't want to give the game away right at the beginning. Okay, what are we... Ah, so we have a peak run... Uh, no, this is the Bolton's list. Uh, wondering if it's similar to mine. We'll have a look afterwards. Uh... Quick ball. What are you going to go get, good sir? Okay, so there's Coco. Okay, so we're going to get a second Sander Ponder up. We're not going to be using the 9000 on this because we can't use Bulk Storm. Um, here we go, throw this up. We're going to dig, dig, dig a lot of energy out. We're going to throw our fighting energy away. Go get another fire energy out. Need them out the deck at some point. Touch there. Sand Eater, 60 damage. And next turn, Bolton goes bye bye. Um, be quite nice to get our Deancey Prism Star. I really should have looked to see if that was in the list, uh, in the deck, or in the prizes. Um, Dojo would help as well. So if we have Deancey and Dojo, that's 60, 120. Not quite there. That's fine. Even better. Okay, so this is doing one, two, three, four, five. Uh, 160 damage now. Hundred ninety. Hundred ninety. Need that one more electro charger. Not quite there. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay, so this is good. We have the Rosa in hand to go into next turn. We're going to Sand Breath. Uh, it doesn't particularly matter what we throw away because this is going down now. Um, oh, there's the Giancy. So with the Rosa, uh, dependent on top deck really, I'm either, I'm definitely going to go look for a Roly Coley, which is the pre-evolution form of Cobblossal. Um, there's the tree. You didn't have any energy on. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. You have six energy in play. keep looking up there because one of my snakes is dancing at the front of his bed so slightly has caught my attention uh, we'll rose off let's thin right so there's the roly coly <clears throat> we'll take that I think we'll take that as well thin the deck nicely nicely Okay, so we're going to put that down, and then Sand Eater again. So he's looking for that one electro power. Ooh, that's all. Oh dear, no. Now he can bring everything back we need a big big turn here I need a big big draw support at number one uh, maybe the Milo would help um, uh, I think the Roly Coley is the more important one None of you are a supporter. Uh, we'll do both. Two Sandacondas back in the deck. And we're going to put two Fighting Energy in. We pull one of them out. Put it in the hand. And press done. Why would you eat power? Okay, there we go. That's game. Okay, so we got our sticky situation out of the way for game one. Really? We shouldn't have lost that. Um, very bad RNG. Like you saw, no draw supporters. Maybe when I rose it, I should have gone and got a better draw supporter. Um, but yeah, so I will see you for the next match. Okay, here we go against EJ Orange. Uh, 
we'll go tails this time. Um. So not. Let's go second. I feel it's the way to go. It may not be the way to go. Um. But we can Milo a bunch of stuff here. So this this could be cool. Seeing a whole lightning box. Uh, I'm guessing there's a Dedenne in there just so he can play the lightning box, but it's dark box. So we'll take another one. Dark box should should be uh, favourable as the matchup goes. to throw away one and uh, oh, one and two. There we go. Uh, we'll throw that up. Let's throw this away. Uh, let's go get the roly Cody actually. Fire energy and put the money into something quite good. Uh, if this Pokemon has, but okay, right, so we can do 250 yeah, if we use its GX attack. Uh, He can start mounting munching. There goes the rare candy. Okay, so we'll attach that there. And Marnie this seal. There we go. So we can go into this. Tar generator. It is tar generator. I said I'd go back to it and I completely, completely forgot. Um, we're going to flamethrower. 190 damage. We'll get rid of the fire energy. Because we're getting a nice little cheeky bonus there. Dojo dwell in nine tails. Right. So what do you do? Right. If your opponent's GX or EX is knocked out by this attack, take one more card. Okay, so I could greedy crush them next turn. And just keep greedy crushing them. Does that make sense? Um I do want to get a Sandaconda into play. This is not the Nine Cow Show, although Nine Cow is going to be a very, very useful uh, Pokemon to begin with. Can they get up to five energy for next turn? Uh, we need one attachment this turn, a red and blues, and an attachment next turn. Well, there goes my uh, cheeky bonus. Another type no. Okay. 
So we shall pull this one up. Um, yeah, may as well. But we're going to uh, greedy crush. And if we can keep this one in the active, it means we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to get three prize cards anyway, ignoring the black market. It would be nice to shift that black market, take four prize cards in a turn. Be nice to see a Sander Conda. <laughs> but this nine tails, doing the dream. Bringing back that Cynthia. I forgot to check that uh, Bolton list. Oh well, things that are in the past. Okay. So I want to Marnie these. I don't. I don't want to seal this. We're going to put this down. Uh, safety energy. Right, so we'll use that just to thin the deck, give it a shuffle, and we will greedy crush, take four prize cards this turn. Should be four, if I read that right. There's the three, and there's the fourth. So, yeah, we can start throwing some energies away now, which is quite nice. We can even get another uh, colossal set up here. Um, is there anything he can do to one shot this? I mean, I've got 180 hit on this. Um, Oh. Oh. I was thinking, you know what, next time I can get Sander Condor in. I can one shot this. We're all good. But if I top deck uh, Sander Condor, that'd be really good. Because then I can just literally one shot this. Game be done. You are not a Sandaconda, my friend. Okay. Uh, if you're no, you're not an Ultra Beast, so we'll attach there, just in case we have to go in with it. Uh, we're not going to Brave Buddies, so we'll Flame Thrower. So the Fire Energy. He's unless there isn't a supporter in this hand, which I doubt. Yeah, because he uh, brought it back with Caitlyn and Cynthia, didn't he? Acrobike. There goes a Caitlyn and Cynthia. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And a Marnie. Just needed an energy. Um, I think. Uh, put some buff padding on this thing and just make it death all of its own. Okay, so player can't play. Uh, any trainer cards, is it? Uh, five extra energy. Post active is not tapped. Okay. Well, they don't really need to GX me for that. Maybe save to GX. Um, what am I hitting you for? 260. No, I have this in hand. So, if they don't black lance me, 
which I'm hoping they don't do. Uh, I mean, they don't have the knockout on this the turn after. It's They're going to Black Lance me. Okay. So we'll play this. We got more energy. We can now tar generator. Go get one and two. Throw out a well played. And flaming avalanche. Thank you, weakness bonus. <laughs> <laughs>
secondary attacker. Nice to have. But as I was saying, we've got our Skylar to go get our rare candy for next turn. Net of scoops. None of this is looking like you have enough fire energy yet. So what I can do may result in a scoop, to be honest. Never mind scoop up net. Uh, if I was to boss's order out the Blacephala, knock that out because I have got the rare candy in. Are you really? <laughs> oh dear, 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 dear. Okay, so there's one bit of the puzzle. Is that one bit of the puzzle? No, it's not. <laughs> Dear. After all that. Okay. So, I've got the rare candy for the turn after. We're going to put this up. We're going to attach there. Boss's orders. Go get this. We're now going to sand breath. Knock it out. And take a price. <laughs> So, oh, there's my other colossal. So I've got my rare candy, so I'm not worried about energy attachments. Um, be good to get the other rare candy, and then I could just charge up two Santa Condors. <laughs> so if they somehow find a way to remove two colossals from the board or stick one. What do you do, good sir? I, th I think the Dork or Theo Dork may have sided against it. I don't know. No, okay. Theo is still with us. Will he play through? Okay, so there's a part of it. There's a switch. How many of them has he gone through now? I've lost count. He did so many stellar wishes last turn. Okay, so uh, two switches. Two. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. Oh, welder to a Jirachi. Dear. You <laughs> hate to see it. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Oh, he tried. He tried <laughs> so hard. I will stellar wish into something. Um, nah, I really enjoyed that. I might go for one more. No, yes, yeah, I've mentioned it now. Uh, heads, come on, Reaper's Fury. No. Okay, right, this is something. I'm not sure if it's good something, it's something though. Okay, right, we're gonna go hunt that Malamar down. <clears throat> right, in Gaven. That's not a Malamar. Search, that's fine. Okay, splat the squishy thing. Another quick ball. See a lot of these. Uh... This, going to do this. Um, going to pull the squishy thing in and sand eater. Get that turn one knockout. Wish we could have got a uh, 
fighting energy into the discard. Didn't, but we're okay. So, hitting this for 40. Are you going to horror house me? Okay, so horror energy. There's another NK, keep going through all of these. Okay. Well, that's fine. Sandita, still hitting it. Ugh. 200 damage. I only got a hundred damage worth of uh, things in my hand. What will you be doing? Okay, yeah, going all in on this. Okay, so we're gonna throw this away to go and get this. Go to Marnie. Go get another fighting energy. We're going to attach the fire here. Alright, Sand Eater. That horror energy is not doing the greatest thing for me. How much psychic? You haven't got any psychic energy in this card. Taking two prize cards there. Attach there, um, Marnie. Okay. So I'm going to Red Coley. Uh, we'll get rid of this. Go into the Santa Conda. Attach this. We're behind now. I should have done more, to be honest. Should it? 30 damage. Plus this. I'm behind in prizes. So that should have been 40. 40, 70, 90. Seventy damage. So here comes the Dragapult, which will take. What? Throwing that back in. Okay. Heal it all the way up because that's what we love seeing. Oof. What I do love seeing, though, on the other hand, is. Now, go get this, go get fire energy again, we're thinning. Uh, sand Shred, 
hitting you for 250 damage. See, if, you, if you'd hit into this, be okay. Oh, going to money me now. I'm hoping that I get two. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, so close. Arr. Nope. Attach that there. Get sand eater. I still don't understand how that's not hitting for more. I'm behind in prices. Check. Okay, so this can come to them. They're going to go up prizes. Yeah, we'll put 90 on there. 40 on there, taking it to 90. Yeah, this game's theirs. Put up a fight though. <laughs> um. So, no, I don't have any boss's orders either. So, put this into play. Cynthia. I can't do anything else here. Um, well, okay. Lots and lots and lots. Put four damage there. I'm going to take three prizes. There's the Santa Costa. And then they should. They're not being silly. Yet, yeah, straight into that. We'll say, well played. Max Phantom, knockout. Okay guys, so I'll push my luck a little bit. That was a two and a two. Two wins, two losses. Uh, I think there was quite some good games in there. I mean, the right was on the wall with that. But yeah, so I mean, I quite enjoyed it. Uh, hope you guys did too. Um, but yeah, so that's the list. Uh, if you're new to the channel, like I said at the beginning, don't forget to give us a subscribe. Anything you like, give us a thumbs up. Uh, anything about deck that you do like, anything you would change, any ideas on cards that should be in there that weren't. Uh, chuck that in the comment section and uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I'm uploading uh, just leaves me to say uh, stay home, stay safe, stay well uh, Thursday going live and uh, yeah I'll see you next time take a minute every day for yourself and think about the good things in life bye